square both sides. On the left, when we expand, we get x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2. And on the right, we get 3. Subtract 2 from both sides, and boom. x squared plus 1 over x squared equals 1. That's our first checkpoint, neat and tidy. But we're not stopping here. To reach 12th power, we keep building up. So we take this new equation, x squared plus 1 over x squared equals 1, and square it again. This time, the left side becomes x to the power 4 plus 1 over x to the power 4 plus 2, and the right side becomes 1. Subtract 2 again, and we find x to the power 4 plus 1 over x to the power 4 equals minus 1. Aha! Now you can see a pattern starting to form. First, we got 1. Now we got minus 1. Let's push it further. We square this result again. Left side becomes x to the power 8 plus 1 over x to the power 8 plus 2. Right side becomes 1 again. Subtract 2 and, yep, x to the power 8 plus 1 over x to the power 8 equals minus 1. Hmm, interesting, right? The values are kind of bouncing around. But hold up, we also need x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 somewhere in the middle because 12 power will come from squaring the 6th power result. So here's a cool trick. There's a formula that says if you multiply x squared plus 1 over x squared with x to the power 4 plus 1 over x to the power 4 and subtract x squared plus 1 over x squared again, you directly get x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6. So plug in the numbers, 1 times minus 1 minus 1 gives us minus 2. That means x to the power 6 plus 1 over x to the power 6 equals minus 2. Now the final punch. We take this minus 2 result and square it. That gives us x to the power 12 plus 1 over x to the power 12 plus 2 equals 4. Subtract 2 and there we have it. x to the power 12 plus 1 over x to the power 12 equals 2. Simple, clean, and done. What looked like a giant problem with 12th power was actually just a series of neat little steps using squaring and a fun pattern. 